Hey, hi and welcome. All right. Um, tools and stuff that you should have aboard your boat uh, whenever you're next to the safety marine equipment. It's always good to have, like, although everything's a mess in here, or whatever, uh, is tools for knowing pretty much every size of everything you're going to need and just not having to think about it. If, if you can have double of everything, even better. Uh, just get yourself, like, a small kit uh, of tools. Uh, other things you should have on board, obviously your fire extinguishers, check those out every now and then. Have more than one. I used to have two in here, uh, but I think I took one and I put it somewhere else. Uh, upgrade those, but even when you upgrade the other ones, don't throw the old ones out, obviously. Uh, you know, so th this one's still good. It's getting old, but it's still good. Other things too is like, have like electrical tape, have, uh, uh, silicone caulking gun on hand. Uh, have that stuff because sometimes you just have to do emergency stuff. Other things you should have too on hand is, is just, uh, you know, manuals, everything like that and go, but before you even go to tools to know what tools you want, the best way to do it is just go over everything, you know, like see what's what, just grab a socket, put it on there, write it down. I need a nine mil, I need a 10 mil or a quarter inch or five eighths or whatever it is you're going to be working with. Uh, other things too is have some spare nuts and bolts kicking around. Sometimes things just fall out. I don't know why it does it, but sometimes it's just like, I've had enough. I'm, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm gone. And that happens. The other thing too is get a magnet. Magnet and what I call a, sorry, it's going to sound a little disgusting, but I call them, they call it a mechanics pickup tool. I always call them the snot picker because it's like a wiry kind of tube with a plunger type of effect and three little claws come out and you can pick up. Stuff that falls down in there where your fingers can't get. Or back in there. We don't want to even go in there. I mean, that's terrifying. And it's so painful in there. Uh, it's like trying to get around that engine. Um, but yeah, just take an inventory of what you need on the boat. Uh, you can grab random tools, but a lot of times there's, you're going to have a, a, a toolbox on a boat of stuff you're not going to use. So really make your a toolbox effective. Number one, it'll, it'll give you more room in the boat for other things rather than taking up space on stuff you don't need uh you know if it's a small enough sockets have it not need it need it not have it i get that too but it's a good idea like for example all your rigging hardware um you know like for example let's say somehow you lose rivets or something good idea to get spare rivets a rivet gun things like that and you'll know what you need over time uh just by going over things easiest way to go over things is just simply you know, start tweaking stuff, like you see that some crud here. So yeah, so that needs to be, I can tell you right there, that one needs to be uh, cleaned up. Uh, these ones are good. Uh, little caps. I don't know where the caps went. You know, but you know, get a little cap, plug caps in there. Um, yeah, so just go around your boat and, and, and uh, make an inventory. Uh, especially for the mast rigging stuff, it's a good idea to have proper wrenches and stuff on board. Uh, you got a big mashed bolt like this make sure you got some spare nuts some spare washers good idea to have a few little tur uh, block tackle like that get a couple of those spares kicking around wiring stuff uh fuses good idea to have some spare fuses good idea to get uh, some uh, morettes uh, get yourself uh extra different gauges wire uh, you don't have to go crazy. I mean, you don't have to turn your, your boat into a hardware store, but it's good to have replacement stuff for stuff. And you can buy some stuff in small enough batches just to get you out of a bind or whatever. Uh, especially if you're out cruising around or you, you're going on a long trip, it's nice to have everything you need. And if you're very smart about how you set it up, you don't have to take a whole bunch of stuff. Again, you could save that space for other things. Uh, other thing, as many spare lines as you can get. Whenever you replace your lines, that old line that you thought was no good, keep it around. You can always use it for something. Uh, you can never have enough line on a boat. It's a good idea to have a, a couple of hundred feet of extra lines of various different sizes of whatever's common on your boat. Maybe it's quarter inch, maybe it's eighth inch, maybe it's a, a five eighths, half inch, whatever, whatever the line is. Uh, you can never have enough of that stuff. Other stuff, you can never have enough of these. Uh, you get a good storm and you're out somewhere and the dock shreds these on you, and they will. You'd be surprised how easy these things can shred. And going to a bigger line is not the issue. It's Some docks just have a lot of wave action, and it just 
shears against the dock. And next thing you know, you, you, you're, you're down like two, uh, two deck lines or whatever. So when you go someplace, you can't tie up. So it's good to have a couple of spares. Uh, usually it, this is more like, um, stuff that you're going to find you're doing in the second year of your owning your boat where you're, you're buying, buying the stuff you need. Uh, but the idea is to have it all on hand, uh, s just spare stuff, you know, but just do an inventory of your boat. Usually you'll know what you need once you've, uh, used your boat a little bit, like the first month on the boat. Um, even if you're not doing a life aboard, just sailing it. Every time you take it out, you're going to notice something that, ah, geez, it'd be nice if I had that. Oh, hey, maybe next time I come in, make yourself a list. Have like a little clipboard somewhere that every time you hear, as soon as you think of it, write it down because you'll forget it later and then you can take the paper home with you, work off the list, check whatever you need to bring in. Could be bulbs, could be whatever. Just stuff to stock the boat with. Anyway, I'll leave it at that.